What is happening, everybody? All right, so to uh, talk about some uh, Gorm. What's up, Big Face Trucker? Big Tex Trucking. Everybody likes a good gourmet apple, right? So let's start, instead of talking about doom and gloom and trucking, freight rates and all that, down at the farmer's market in Flint, right? Right at the Flint farmer's market, well over there, right there. Uh, <clears throat> the gourmet apple cart, man, to make some great, delicious gourmet apples. Now, down in the description, they are giving everybody that watches this channel 25% off of their order using the code L-I-K-E down in the description. Now, they will ship anywhere. You can try their website out, and if you can't get it to work for shipping, you can call them up. There's their phone number. Uh, Carrie is the uh, lady's name that runs and operates the gourmet apple cart. Uh, Family-owned business, right? You know times are hard because of Corona, COVID-19 deal. Um, so if you want to get a gourmet apple, try them out. Uh, we'll show you what they look like, right? We'll show you what they look like. Bam. Look at those. What do you think? What do you think, Light Bright? <clears throat> what do you think of those? And you can, you know, we can go through the pictures. Uh, they do wrapping for special occasions. Uh, you got all these here. This is the Flint Farmer's Market. They also have another location up in Saginaw. They do deliver local, and they do ship. Now, if you go to their website, gourmetapplecart.com, look at all of these apples. Here, let me, let me shrink it down. Check it out, OTR Dave. What do you think, man? Jose, look at this. Salted caramel peanut. Reese's peanut butter cup. Twix. Toffee. Take five. And these are these are big apples. These aren't small. These are big apples. You can feed at least two people, sometimes three. Depends how much you like to eat these apples. Um, they're really big. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a dessert, Troy, right? M and M. S'mores, whatchamacallit, Snickers, Milky Way, Kit Kat, Butterfinger, and the list goes on and on, folks. Almond Joy, Nutella. If you got some kids that love Nutella, they got a Nutella apple. Pecan Turtle, Chocolate Walnut, Chocolate Peanut, Chocolate Almond, Chocolate Cashew, Simply chocolate and salted milk chocolate photo coming soon. Simply white chocolate, salted white chocolate, strawberry shortcake, ginger snap, pumpkin spice crumble, peppermint. It just goes on and on and on, right? Birthday cake, cookies and cream, apple crisp, Oreo, pecan turtle, breakfast of champions, moon flea. Check it out. Pistachio. Praline pecan, chocolate cashew, chocolate peanut, apple pie. Whew, I'm getting tired out just reading all these uh, different types of apples. Yeah, it's better than a fair, OTR David. You got that right. Um, simply dark chocolate. And the price, $10, $12, depending on the apple, uh, is really a cheap price for how big these apples are when you compare them to, you know, like the Rocky Mountain, whatever they're called. Uh, you know, and, and the, all these other big conglomerate stores, Harry Davis, or all those people that sell them, and they want, you know, upwards of 15 to 20 bucks an apple. Uh, and it's homemade locally. Uh, so, you know, you get, you get a lot more taste, love, as they call it, in the food industry, right? Goes into each and every one of these apples. Because it's not made by machines and stuff. It's made by hand, right? That way it's, it's better. Should we keep going? Sim okay, where are we at? We're at Andy's Mint. You like Andy's Mints? They get Andy's Mint apple. 
Sanders Dark Chocolate Sea Salt, Mounds, Traverse City Cherry, Oreo, and it goes on and on and on. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Butterscotch, Hawaiian, Maple, Bacon. Oh, for all you bacon lovers, photos coming soon. Maple, Bacon, Payday, Maple Cinnamon French Toast, Lemon Cheesecake, Graduation Apple. If you got somebody graduating, and you know we're going to click on it, get a bigger picture of it. Boom. Got these nice boxes, right? They'll send them in. Classic walnut, classic peanut, classic pecan, simply caramel, and salted caramel. And that's it. That's all the flavors. Can you find something you like in there? Of course you can. 25% off. That even makes it a better deal. So, there you go. Estimated prep time is one day. Right? One day to make your apple. Because they're really busy. Oh, that bacon. Yeah, Jose. Jose likes the bacon. Here, let's go down here. Jose, we'll give you a little taste of the, uh, of course, it, we can't show it because there was no picture. But it was right here, coming soon. Perfect for the bacon lover in your life. We start with our sweet, warm caramel. Completely coat it with brown sugar, bacon, and drizzle all that with our maple-flavored white chocolate. Man, does that sound good. I might have to run down to the farmer's market and go get me one. Eat it right here in front of the camera. Just for you, Jose. Give you play-by-play. -play. You know what I'm saying? So if you go to the website, this is the website. You can let, click order now, you know, and you can put it in here. They have two locations. They just opened up this second location uh, in Saginaw, Michigan. And uh, you can hit delivery or pick up. And of course, if you hit delivery, you're going to want this address in here and so forth and so forth. And you pick your apple. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Add to cart. So if we go to the cart, let's see what happens. I want to go to the cart. Take me to the cart. Here's my cart right here. Boom. Checkout. Let's go to checkout. You can put your email address in here. Um, phone number, last name, payment information, all this good stuff. And see what, see what happens. If shipping info, at this time we can only offer UPS shipping, but we'll be adding another carrier as soon as possible. Orders of up to 10 apples will be shipped within one business day. Orders of more than 10 apples may take longer, um, and you must be contacted. Uh, because our caramel apples are perishable, during times of the year when temperatures exceed 60 degrees, cold pack shipping and handling procedures are necessary and do increase the shipping cost. Because you've got to make sure they come in fresh and good. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I'll check my messenger pale rider. And let's just see what you have got. There, let's get one of these. Um, let's let's get those apples up there. Check them babies out. All right. Let's see what Pale Rider sent me in my messenger. I do have a messenger. Oh, I'm sorry for going live last night. I did not, I forgot, I forgot, Pale Rider TV, that you do have a Friday night, you know what session, and I deeply apologize to you, Pale Rider, from one veteran to another. You forgot to watch your six. That's all I got to say. Or eight, because you come on at eight. But anyway, GOC, GNC, um, lots of laughs, right? And yes, Pale Rider TV, I did um, read your message. Jose, get yourself some of that bacon. Moonflea, I'm drooling in my mask. Well, Moonflea, you come up here, maybe, maybe we'll get an apple. You don't know. Maybe. What do you think? 
Maybe. YouTube war? All right. Well, fire one up, Pale Rider. And you know what? You're going to have to beat this. Look how delicious those apples look, brother. You're going to have to beat that. And you just can't talk trucking because trucking gets boring after a while just talking trucking. you got to spice it up, right? I'm bringing you food. I'm bringing you food. And you know, when you're when you're old as dinosaurs like me and you, and you get you know certain types of food, that could be a food war. So let's see you bring something. Don't bring up you know. Don't show those tacos and things like that. You got to bring like a dessert. You know. Bring it, bring it, Pale Rider TV. Call on in, but I, I bet you you're scared. Here you go, Pale Rider TV. You can call my regular number, or bam, you want to call in? Here, I know I know you need glasses, so let me, Pale Rider TV, I think you can read that. Keith, I think you can read that now. You want me to blow it up some more? Okay, hold on, folks. We got, we got to blow it up some more there for Keith. Maybe he can dial that in. Is your hearing aid up? 810-207-5334. There you go, Pale Rider. He'll be laughing now. All right, so <laughs> we will not do another 8 o'clock broadcast and be in conjunction with Pale Rider's thing. But, you know, Snorlord, he went live when I was live. When I was live, and he was actually in my live feed and then went live. Can you believe that? Is that a YouTube war between me and uh, Snorlord? Ask yourself. Is that, is that it? Hold on. Oh, we must. I'll fight him. I, you know, I'll fight Pale Rider TV with, with YouTube war because I'll go get me one of these caramel apples. And when he bites into him with his dentures, you know, and he pulls the apple back out, his teeth will come with it. His teeth will come with it. Bigger Greater Network, you're live with uh, the Gourmet Apple Cart. I'm, you, you went live? Imagine that. We're live. <laughs> and you know what? If you If you got one of these caramel apples, I'll fight you with one because, you know, I'll take the dentures out with it. Uh, I can't eat apples, man. Especially caramel apples. Yeah. Well, you yeah, can. You, you can know, look at them. It's, it's bad enough. It's bad enough. Us YouTubers got to worry about the trolls. Now we got to worry about our friends stepping on us on our live streams. What's up with that? Well, <laughs> what's up with that is Snorlord went live when I was live. See, I went live actually before you went live. Didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, you went live about halfway through my last night. Oh, I guess I pulled the Snorlord on you. We can blame Snorlord. Did you go live about 8 30 or something central? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I said, dang it, Jeff went live. What the heck? What's he doing? He's killing me, man. Well, we're live this morning, but no one, you know, you know it, I love you, it's hard you to get know. anybody to watch early in the morning. All the truck drivers are sleeping on Saturday morning, so they'll watch the replay. Oh, I hear you. Yeah, I should have Skyped you. Put, you, you. put you live on, in, you know, should have Skyped you. Yeah, well, oh well. You got Skype? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, see, he's, you know, hold on a second. Here's Pale Rider TV, the legend in trucking, right? The legend in vlogging. But yet, he can do TikTok and have lasers coming out of his eyes, but he does not have no clue what Skype is. Science! Yeah, Science! I know what Skype is, I just, I just don't have it. He's not a Skyper. He's probably like one of those um, Google Hangout kind of guys. Yeah, which they don't have anymore. Yeah, he, he makes he, me mad. 
Because your all your friends broke it. I hear you. But they do have a lot of flavors, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. we bought um, some of these apples uh, for the grandkids and everything. I think we bought five, four or five of these apples, and man, were they good! Big though. I mean, you, you couldn't eat just one in one setting. You couldn't. But, you know, I bet you there are some drivers that could. Oh, yeah. You know, especially yeah. especially when you sit at the, at the dock, you know, for 12 hours, and they tell you that, you know, your product is still in production. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. OT- yeah, you know how that is. It's tough. OTR David asked me, he says... About last night, I had to cut out when uh, went back to watch you and you took it down. No, Pale Rider TV called me and he said, "How dare you? How dare you go live in my live feed? You must take that video down." I said, "Okay, no problem, Pale Rider TV." So I made it private. And then Pale Rider TV told me if anybody wants to see that video, since I done that, then I'm going to have to charge ten dollars, and you cash at me ten dollars, and I got to split five with him. For violating his time frame. Right. right? That's right. Yeah. Violate the Pale Rider TV terms of service. That's right. Violate the terms of service. <laughs> so, OTR David, if you want to see it, cash at me. Ten bucks. i got to send five to Pale Rider TV for the rights to show it because I violated his um, two-hour block window. <laughs> and uh, that's the new YouTube uh, truckers broadcasting right. terms of service. Right, I'll be checking the cash app, waiting for that deposit. Yeah. Or just send it, or just send five bucks to what? What's your thing? Dollar sign what? Pale Rider TV. Pale Rider. Pale Rider, Rider TV. Yes. If you don't know how to spell Pale Rider TV, there you go. Dollar sign Pale Rider that. TV. I'm just, I'm just picking on you, man. I'm just trying to make you feel guilty. I I would feel guilty if I ate a whole apple. I mean, if I ate a half of one one day and half the other, I wouldn't feel guilty. But, you know, I'd feel guilty if I ate a whole one. But would I mind? No, nah, not absolutely not. I wouldn't. So what's happening in the world today, uh, Pale Rider TV? Um, same old, same old. Trying to keep things rolling a little bit. It's slower everywhere. Well, you know how it is out here. It's slower everywhere. Not just the spot market, but it's slower everywhere. Yeah, and that's why, you know, uh, when when the the lady that owns this uh, apple shop in the farmer's market, when uh, she sent me a message saying she had a website built now and everything, and uh, the product was good, I like the product, so, you know, she said anybody watches the channel get 25% off. Uh, you know, we get nothing. Right. You know, I'm just going to try to help a local business out you know, sell a great product. So that's a big percentage off. Yeah. That might even cover yeah. the shipping. I don't know. I don't even know how much it costs to ship an apple or two or four. But Snow Lord should buy some for his whole family just for violating, just for violating the terms of service, trucker YouTube broadcast. What do you think? That's right. Broke the rules. Yeah, let's talk about the rally. Broke there was a the rally in Washington D.C. All the truckers, you know, a bunch of truckers showed up there. And you, did you see it on Facebook? All, yes, I seen it. All the horn blowing and everything. Yeah. What's I your saw What's your opinion? Jaron Armstrong wants the Apple website. Uh, all right, Jaron Armstrong. Before you get Pale Rider's expert opinion. Well, be careful. It is right here. Be careful messing with John Armstrong. Just saying. Gore, Gourmet. I don't know. Hold on a minute, Pale Rider. I'm going to have to help John Armstrong out here for a second. Gourmet Apple Cart. John, listen closely because I know you Tesla guys. Hard to spell. G-O-U-R-M-E-T. Apple. A P P L E cart C A R T dot com gourmetapplecart dot com. There you go. 
Do you think he can get it now? What do you think, Pale Rider? Think he can get it? I don't know. And if that's not good enough, John, here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to call... I want you to call this phone number right here. 989-244-6305. Call that number, John. Order some apples. Have them sent to you. It'll, it'll ease your pain. You know, because you're still waiting to drive that truck. All right. Now we have the extra opinion advice from one and other. Pale Rider TV on what he thinks about the stuff going on in D.C. Well, I can understand their frustration, but is are they wanting the government to come in and put more regulations on who can pay what on the rates and everything. I was if it's the brokers that are undercutting everybody, shouldn't they be protesting in front of the brokerage firms or something? I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Well, yeah, what they it, actually want. Yeah, I don't. I don't know exactly. You know what they want because they're not really saying. I know. They're saying because of rates and things like that. Um, but what gets me is you know, you know there's something up when you got the CEO of TIA does a video combating, uh, you know the the pro well the protest one, but um, of some allegations of big brokerages that are you know, taking a lot of money and ex exploiting the COVID-19 uh, to fill their pockets, right? So, you know, and if, you, and if that guy comes out and says, oh, it's only 16%, no, that's, you know that you know there's a, that's not right. Because one, why would they even come out and say anything? What, do they, what does that have to do with them at all? Right? It has nothing to do with them. Yeah. But... But I'll give him this. What do you think of this, Pale Rider? I will I will commend him for doing that because who who are their subscribers? They're brokers, right? So their organization, 3400 that they belong to, come out and he does a video to stand up for whether what he says is true or not. You take it for, you know, a grain of salt, but has a white came out and did a video for us? And they have 300,000 members. Have, have they come out? I'm just asking. No. Have you seen one? No. no. No, I haven't. I haven't either. Hmm. I have not seen one. So, I, you know, what? what's that tell you? What's that? I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything from him either. So. Yeah, yeah, me either. You know it would be good. I bet you if they had a taco flavored apple, you'd buy it. That'd be good. How about a coffee? Nice. How about a coffee flavor? Coffee flavored apple? Would that be all right? Coffee I don't know. Coffee flavored apple. That might be all right. It might be all right. Yep. I'm just not apple flavored coffee. Right. <laughs> That'd be yeah. a problem. That'd be a problem. But coffee flavored apple. Yeah. Maybe we'll so do what that. You do is you get you a, get you an apple, and you peel it, and soak it in a cup of coffee overnight. Yeah. Get up the next morning and have your apple and your coffee at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Or well, or you could maybe you could add coffee flavored to the caramel. Well, that'd be an idea. You know, and then that way, 
John Armstrong says yuck. He probably doesn't drink coffee. Right? Probably not. Probably not. So yeah, that, that was my video this morning. Um, thought I'd come out here, do this uh, video. Now, if I had done it last night and had a bunch of people, you know, a good audience, it'd be better. But a lot of people watch the replay. So uh, hopefully they, uh, hopefully they order some apples. About the, hey, when you do a live stream and you, and you end it, how long does it take you to process it? Quite. The last three or four I've done, it, it processes up till the next day. Yeah, it takes a quite a while. I said, what the heck's going on there? You should not take that long. Now all of a sudden, it takes it, uh, you know, 12 hours or something before it'll show up. Right. For the replay. So, what's up with that? We're losing, losing views and stuff that way. The, replay views. We are losing replay views. I don't know what's up with that. Weird. YouTube is a weird place. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out here. Uh, I was on this, you know, on the site, and I'm trying to figure out how to. Uh, get it to do delivery that's not local pickup that's why I said so are these better to call are it. these apples these apples are they Michigan grown apples I don't know should we call and ask yeah Michigan grown apples specialty caramel apples are more than 40 delectable flavors um, it says we use tart and crisp here I'll, I'll put it on the screen it says we use tart and crisp Granny Smith apples not your average apple we get the largest freshest apples available to us ah. get a custom quote or ask about our fundraising program Custom decorations and uh, favor-sized apples available to complement your special events. So, ah. yeah. They get the largest, freshest apples available. John says probably Washington State apples. Um, yeah, that's what I probably saw. But, you know. You can see that, you know, they they got these nice okay. boxes that they package them in. They're green, uh, Big Face Trucker. They're Granny Smiths right here. Boom. Big Face Trucker, you need to order some. you got grandkids. Yes. You've got children. Order. Order some. Some. Order some. And have yourself a COVID-19 apple party. <laughs> order some. Because, you know, what better way to sit in sit in the house, eat some caramel apples, your favorite flavors, why watching, why binging on Netflix? Because I know you've been watching the Netflix series. Because you know why I know that? Pale Rider? Because he called me and told me. He okay. called me and told me that at 9 o'clock last night I was interrupting his Netflix Oh. Binge watching thing, and he also informed me that I did st step on your live feed, which I sincerely ah. apologize to that. <laughs> yeah, John Armstrong, nice uh, website, but I'm having a hard time finding out how to uh, have it sent. See if I hit delivery. Let me uh, let me try the old Pale Rider TV interview skills here. Except I got you on the phone. What is Jeffrey Light's opinion on the state of the trucking industry now? And is it going to get worse? Is it going to get better? Or is it just going to take a whole different turn 
in another direction. Go. <laughs> well, okay. I will answer this in a second. Moonflea, call the phone number. She's at the market now. I want you to call the phone number and and give her that um, give her that insight that it, I couldn't find it either. Um, but you can order right off the phone from her. Call her up. There, I'll get that 989 number. 989-244-6305. Call that phone number. Tell her you're watching the show. Have, have Shannon do it right now. And, I'll, and then I'll answer the question. Because it's a trick question. I, I have a feeling I'm getting brought into something that I don't know. But, you know, that's Pale Rider TV. There's a the number. Shannon, no, no, call that no, number. No. Call that number, Shannon. Not a trick. And John, text me make, if she called it. So, um, and, and say you watch this show and you're, and you're watching the, the apples on the TV screen there. Yeah, 989-244-6305. John, you got it wrong, Armstrong. It's 6305. See the six right there? Let me get out of the way. See that six? See, John Armstrong needs help. Um, John can't type. He can't type. That. So here, I will type it. Because, you know, <laughs> somebody has to type it right. Shots fired. John, has, he, his glasses fell off his head. There. 989-244-6305. All right. So... Now let's get back to the question at hand. What are you trying to get me into, and what do you want me to answer? So I know what you think. How is it? Are we going to come out of this mess? Is it going to be better than what it was? Is it going to be worse? Is it never going to be the same? Or... All right. So here, here's my opinion on it, and what I think is going to happen. I think with the slow rollout. You know, like 31 states, I believe, um, this month are going to have a slow rollout. Rates will slightly get better in May. Now, I have a bunch of naysayers that say, you know, it's going to be worse, worse. But no, it can't be worse if some factories and stuff are going to open. Would you agree on that, Pale Rider? It can't get worse because you're going to start having more freight in the system. Right. Yeah. Right. So I believe the rates are going to get a little bit better. They're not going to be nowhere near 2018, and they're probably not even going to be close to 2019, but they're going to get a little bit better. 20 cents a mile, maybe. But if all the states are going to open up by June or in June, then we will see a really good two, maybe three months of uh, decent freight rates because you're going to start having more as those factories come on and all that and more and more. And if you look at the grocery stores, they're bare. It's going to take a while to get that stream back up. It's going to take a while. So it's going to take a lot of loads, you know, a lot of trucks to get it back to normal yeah. or somewhat normal. Yeah. Would you agree on that? Yeah, so it's not going to be just a one yeah. month and done, and, and, and then it's, it's disastrous. If they open the whole country up, and hopefully, here's what we don't know. We don't know how many companies are able to get come back up. We don't know how many companies are going to stay closed. We don't know this. Right. That is the unknown factor. If all the businesses came back, I would say within two months, trucking would be pretty good. The economy would start to grow again, but then we don't. We also don't know what's going to happen if COVID nineteen shows its head in the fall or winter. Right now, personally, I think they should just let it ride. You know, don't shut the country down again. Don't shut the stuff down again because if it's going to be here, the body has to fight it like the flu. It's got to. It's got to get it. It's got to try to. Uh, boost its immune system against it. You can't just keep shutting stuff down and 
and doing that. You just can't do it. Yeah. Do you agree on that? I mean, you can't do that. I mean, you know, yeah, it's they, a virus. Well, they know a lot more about it now than they did before. So if they start, like, in the fall or something, they, they, they see a spike in cases or something, they know how to nip it pretty much. Once they learn, supposedly learn so much about it after having to deal with it, you know. So. Yeah. Well, try to... Uh, and again, somebody said it, uh, it won't come back in 2021 because 2021 is an election year. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, if, <laughs> if, the, uh, if Trump stays in office... And we don't have another country shut down uh, because of stuff like this, you know. Then right. 2021, I believe, will be a pretty good year for trucking. Because by then, everything yeah. should be getting back to normal. You know, the, yeah. the ships, all your uh, freight containers and all that will be over here. The ports will be full. All those products would have to be shipped to warehouses and shipped out to the stores. Because um, it takes about two months for those containers to hit the ports. One to two months, depending on where they're coming from. And there's a lot of it coming. Yeah. It's a lot of it coming. So, when everything gets back to that's what I that's where I think it's going to happen. Uh, but if you still have these states that, like Michigan, that are wanting money instead of letting people get back to work, uh, killing the small business, because that's what they're doing, right? Oh, yeah. And yeah. they're giving unemployment to everybody. So a lot of people want to go back to work, but then you have the other side that says, well, I'm making more money in unemployment. I don't, why do I want to go back to work when I can just sit at home and make more money? Exactly. That's the, that's the problem. That's one of the problems. Yep. And the longer the, the states are down like that, then they you know they're getting money. You know they're getting money from the government. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Moonfleet, call it again. Yeah. Blow the number up. Call it again. Call it again, Moonflea. Call it again, Moonflea. <laughs> yes, buy some apples, Moonflea. Get them shipped to you because you'll get them before you even get your Alabama license plate. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, yeah. Just saying. Just saying. Well, a lot of, you know, all, all this crap going on, a lot of information, a lot of misinformation. You just got to try to sift through it all. I've never been a conspiracy theorist, but a lot of stuff has been going on that makes you wonder, is this what? There's more, there's more to this. Than a virus. Yeah. There's more to it than a virus. Because if you look at, you know, some of these states, every time someone passes away, they, they label it. Because who knows what, you know, are they are they getting compensated? I don't know. But they're being caught right. at it. They're being caught at it. Um, and that's the thing. And... When you look at all the actual numbers, you know, percentage-wise, people die of car accidents at a higher alarming percentage rate than this virus. Yep. Because you got to yep. look at the population and see when you're talking about car accidents, look at the licensed drivers and do the do the uh, percentage. So you have a better chance of dying in an automobile accident than you do from COVID-19. 
But not right now because the traffic's lighter in certain spots, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you probably got you probably got voicemail, uh, or you couldn't get through because you probably um, dialed the phone number that uh, John Armstrong put up there, which was wrong. That was probably one of those um, pay phone numbers where he's getting money, right? Because people dial it, so he's getting the cash. <laughs> Give him crap. Give him crap. Yeah. Well. It's crazy. I guess we'll just get through it eventually. But I was kind of, I wasn't really shocked. I was highly disappointed that they canceled Gets. Gets is what, four months away. So what do you think about that? Are they just a yeah. issue or vendors or? Yeah, Gats is closed, right? They're not opening. Um, right. So that's no truck shows this year whatsoever. And, you know, why they closed it? Well, they said it was because of all of the uh, sporting events that were closed and things like that. And, uh, you know, that, that's basically what they said, right? All the big events closed, so they're yeah. closing. And they want to protect the people and so forth and so forth. But let me let me ask you a question. You know, it, even these truck shows, I don't see why they didn't open, for one, because if you go into a Kroger store or a supermarket, it's just as packed as what a truck show would be. Right. Exactly. I mean, I went to Kroger a couple days ago, and I was getting ran into all over the place. It was just, you couldn't even find a parking spot in the parking lot. And you're supposed to be social distancing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Moonfleet, did you get, did you find shipping on there? Did you get it to work? Why don't you call in, Moonfleet? Tell them to call in, Pale Rider. Call in, Moonfleet. <laughs> call in on my, on my personal number, Moonfleet. Uh, Jackie Sevener. Facebook, get Ken, get Ken to order you guys some apples, pick up, drive over there, pick them up, because they have pickup, or they have local delivery, have her deliver some apples for the whole family, right, make Ken spend some money, make him spend some money, Moonfleet already ordered, did the, did the code work, Moonfleet, so, Jackie, get Ken off of the couch, out of the chair, Put his coffee down, or have him put it in a to-go cup. Drive over there. Get you some apples for the whole family. Pick up four apples. Get some apples. Uh, but some apples. But you'll have to do. You'll have to get a hold of. Uh, let's see, tater tot. Tater tot. Get tater tot like a Reese's peanut butter cup. There you go. Yeah, that's what <laughs> we made up a we made up a nickname for the boy for his grandson. Call him, call him Tater Tot. Tater Tot. Yeah. So, maple oh, yeah. cinnamon French toast. Man, I don't know. That sounds pretty good. Uh, the code is uh, it's in the description. I'll let you get back to your live stream. Well, I'm getting ready to get off here. So Wait a minute. Apples. Here's John. Oh. Hold on. Here's John. All right. Uh, Big Gregory Network, you're live. And we're talking about the gourmetapplecart.com, Flint, Michigan, at the Farmer's Market. And we have the world-famous Pale Rider TV. Awesome. Oh, Lord, help us all. <laughs> And John, how is your Alabama license plate venture going? Into week seven, I think. God, it's, it's, it's going. They opened up the county offices yesterday. Shannon said they opened up the county offices yesterday. So, so if we don't have an email Monday morning, we shall be standing in line. 
Oh, and, and how did that doesn't work? We're just sending the paperwork to Michigan. Yeah, and I'll and I'll I'll, I'll go in and get a plate. I'll have to fight through Governor Whitmer's uh, line of defense. Um, so, how did you get to where you could have it shipped online, Shannon? I don't know. Where, come here, Shannon. She walked away. How did you get them to ship it online? How did I get them to ship it online? You pick any location, you put it in your cart. Once you get to the cart to check out, you change your delivery options and then ship will come up. Okay, so I just say add to cart, right? Go to your cart. And I'm going to go to my cart. I might have, to buy, I might have to buy these apples for, for John and Shannon here. Check That's out. Right. Okay, I'm at <laughs> check out. Okay, now this should be a delivery option. I got change your delivery option. Well, no, I got secure mm -hmm. checkout. I got review store pickup, payment information, review and submit order. Up underneath your just what I got. I don't have a delivery option. <laughs> well, you're not in Alabama. They're feeling sorry for us. Yeah, they're feeling sorry for the Alabama people. I'll get, I'll okay. get, I'll get my apple before right. I freaking get my apple. Back up one. Got your shopping cart. Back up one? Get back up one. All right, here I am. Left your shopping cart. And they'll say, right above checkout, check out, it says pick up Thursday, gourmet apple cart, yeah. get changed. Oh, change. so that's how you do it. You got to hit change. Okay, so I hit change. Now what do I do? Shipping. Oh, there you go. Shipping. Continue. There you go. There you go. It's hidden. Boy, that's there kind of go. that's kind of um. It's hidden. That's complicated, hidden. But yes. there it is. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Whew. They need to fix it. You can tell her it's complicated. I told her she's blowing you up all. Of, you're blowing her up all over the country. Okay, so here's what we're doing. This is complicated, folks. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll have to get all over until I, I help her with her website and develop this thing. All right, so, <laughs> so that's how you got to do it. So here it is, folks. You got Shannon figured it out. Woo! See, it takes takes a woman to figure this stuff out. So when you're in your shopping cart. Then you hit that change down here. Right? Yep. Yeah. So we got our cart here. Pick up delivery. Boom, boom, boom. We just click on the shopping cart. We'll do this one more time, see what happens. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to remove all these because um, we got to have a fresh shopping cart, fresh shopping cart. Say hello to John Armstrong. So what'd you guys what'd you guys order? Uh, what, what what kind of apple did you order? Uh, Traverse City cherry because I miss those so much, and a Reese's peanut butter for main plate. Oh, so down here you you click the change button, and then you can pick pick up delivery and all that good stuff. Okay, so we got it. So a, a Travers. Traverse City, City Cherry, yum. Oh, you're gonna love that because oh, you know I Traverse mean, City, Michigan, right? Yeah. Got, got family up there. Hey, we had a uh, my grandparents had a resort on Lake Arbutus. Oh. I was up there almost every year. I love Traverse City Cherries. Look at this, man. Now this got her. Because it's caramel apple perfectly blends sweet, creamy caramel, tart dried Traverse City cherries and a heavy drizzle of rich dark chocolate. Perfect kind. You can see the cherries in that, can you not? Look at that. I, I gotta get her a napkin here, now. Here, here. You're drooling. drooling. Uh, John Armstrong's complicated equals not good for truckers. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like trying to find the receiving door sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Got to keep looking for it. But you make a phone call. She answered, right? Did she answer finally? Yep. Yeah. Second time. Yep. Yeah, she's probably busy drizzling this chocolate over this Traverse City cherry. And then what did you get, John? Yeah. Reese's. Reese's. 
Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh my! He went for listen to that. Can you believe that, Pale Rider? He went for a, goes good with coffee. a classic Reese. Oh, goes good with coffee, Pale Rider. Everything goes good with coffee. I like that. Yeah. And you put in that discount code. That's a good deal. Yeah. yeah. That's it. So when she gets us Traverse City, when you guys get this, um, you might you might have it before you you know you come up here probably. And we'll do a live video. And if you guys put on Skype, maybe maybe we'll put Shannon on the air eating that apple. Yeah, like you're gonna make it all the way back up. And she can and she can give that uh, play by play demonstration and how good it tastes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Live review. Yeah. Live review. You, Matter of fact, I might go buy one. I might I might go buy some today or tomorrow and do a live review. Live. Good idea. Eat them right in front of you guys. Eat a yeah. Traverse City. Eat a Traverse City cherry apple right in front of you while you're drooling for a couple days before it gets there on UPS. <laughs> Oh, she bought some more stuff, too? No, not yet, but she's fixing to. They got it on here, don't they? <laughs> no, they don't. Nope, they don't. She already looked. <laughs> Did you call and see? Because if you look at... Um, My call. If you look at the... Uh, right here on Facebook, I think when you're looking in this counter... Let me see. They got all the apples here, and they do samples. Um, if they're, you know, if they were open with social distancing, we could go there. You know what I'm saying? But I think they do have some other stuff, though. But anyway, that's good stuff. I'm out of here, man. I gotta, I gotta go. I got lawn work to do today. Um, Get to work. Do some work. Well, you're not doing any work. Yes, we're going to do some work. I'm going to go out there and get on a Mahindra tractor. I'm going to mow all these acres. I'm going to, do, yeah, I'm, going to, I'm actually do some weed whipping, you know, and need to ask an RV question. So when you're going to be on that channel, I'll be on that channel. Uh, maybe I'll do uh-huh. one, one. I'll do the old school, old school pale rider with the phone, old school RV Maybe tomorrow morning or something, or later this afternoon, because I got to hook up the hoses and get the antifreeze out of the lines. Because you know we live in Michigan and we have to, you know, winterize. Whatever, pale rider. You know what? Let me tell you something. I feel sorry for you. Yeah. Tell you something. Get up here and help me do some weed whipping. Um, What about pizzas? Thanks for having me on, buddy. It. Yeah, no problem, brother. Uh, we'll talk to you later, Pale Rider TV. And next time I step on your live feed, just let me know, and I'll send you twenty bucks in a super chat. All right, yeah. make up for it. And you know, he's gonna say, John, he's gonna say, step on it all the time. I'll take twenty. <laughs> <laughs> yep, y'all, have, y'all be safe. Yeah, y'all see everybody later. Let me know if you guys are coming or not. Right, you know, <laughs> we're coming. So I'll let you know as soon as Monday. I said, as long as they give us, give us our plate. We'll be ready to roll. Right. I mean, we've been ready to roll. We're just getting rolling. We'll be able to yeah. get rolling. Yeah. Good Lord. That's it. Good Lord. See you later. Later. I'm going to do the old school uh, hit the dump valve button on everybody. Watch this. Pell Rider TV. We'll yeah. see you. We just hit the dump button. All right. So there you go. We're out of here. Thanks for watching. If you can't find out how to get the shipping on there to work, um, call the folks up. Right there. Right over there. Boom. That number right there. 989-244-6305. If you can't get the online to work gourmetapplecart.com and we might do a live 
taste test review. Coming soon. Maybe. We'll see you. Thanks for watching.